An open home is a wonderful way to view a property without having to schedule a private showing. Instead of walking through like it's an art gallery, view it as an inspection. Open up cupboards, doors, windows and investigate. Although a building inspection can identify issues later, visiting an open home can save you time and money if you identify any red flags or potential issues early on. Going to an open home is an experience that involves all the senses. Do you hear creaking or odd noises? Do you smell a musty odor? Do you see evidence of water damage? Can you feel sticking doors and windows? To get the most out of your visit, remember these top 10 things to do when you go to an open home. 1. Check out the roof. Most roofs in New Zealand are made of metal. Stand well away from the house, so you can get a better view of the roof. Can you see any rust? Are the edges of the roof sheets stuck up? Do some sheets need replacing? The roof is the weatherproof hat of your home, and one of the first places to keep the water out. 2. Gutters, downpipes and drains. Another very important aspect to make sure your prospective house is working correctly are the gutters, downpipes and drains. The gutter's job is to take the water away from the roofing and take it to a surface water drain via the downpipes. If these are faulty, it can cause significant damage to the outside of your house. Water can run down the walls or pool around the edges of the house. If there are cracks in the cladding of the house, water can then get in and potentially start rotting the timber frame of the house. Do the gutters, downpipes and drains look okay? Can you see weeds in the gutters or objects hanging out? If so, they are probably full and need cleaning along with the downpipes and drain. A simple thing to fix, but very important to make sure your house is looked after and protected. 3. Consider your neighbors. When looking at a property, also look at the neighbors. Is their property maintained? Do they have barking animals that might bother you? The neighborhood shouldn't be overlooked. If you are seriously considering purchasing the home, drive or walk by at different times of the day and see if this is somewhere you can see yourself living. 4. Look for foundation issues. Without going under the foundations, you can still look for distortions in the house. If you are walking into a room and it feels like you are going uphill or downhill you probably are. Your brain will recognize even very small slopes. Walk from one side of the room to the other and see if you can feel it sloping. 5. Check out the flooring. If hardwood floors are covered in rugs, discreetly lift up the rugs to look at the condition underneath and see if there is any significant damage or staining on the floor. When looking at tile flooring, check for gaps or uneven tiles. If things look strange they probably are. 6. Windows Do windows open and close with ease. Look for bubbled, cracked and flaking paint around the windows and window sills and doors. Don't be afraid to put your fingers on where the damaged paint is to see if the timber feels damp or soft. 7. Be suspicious of smells. If you step into an open home and are immediately met with an overwhelming smell of potpourri, scented candles or freshly baked cookies, you may need to be wary. Although pleasant, it could be masking other smells like damp. As you walk through the home, pay attention to the smells and start looking for evidence of the cause. 8. Signs of leaks. Look at the walls and ceilings for evidence of leaks. These will appear as a light brown halo of varying sizes. A building inspection will be able to find internal water damage, however, if you see signs of leaks, it can be a sign of flooding from a burst pipe or leak that could have caused damage that isn't as visible. 9. Open bathroom and sink cabinets. To determine if there may be any potential problems with the plumbing, open bathroom and sink cabinets and look around water pipes or drains, as well as a sealant around taps. Check out visible pipes and touch them to see if they feel damp. 
If it does this might indicate a leak. 10. Ask questions. The real estate agent is there to answer any questions about the property you have. If you are unsure about water damage, just ask. It would help if you also asked questions about the age of the windows and roof. Also, ask if they have had any recent works. Buying your home is potentially one of the biggest investments you will ever make. Careful looking and inquiries now can save you potentially a lot of heartache in the future. Book your detailed pre-purchase building inspection by contacting us today at www.jcconsultants.nz/contact.